In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, a time when the world was engulfed in the flames of colonial expansion, this was the era of new imperialism, where European powers, driven by economic, political, and social motivations, scrambled for territories across the globe. Imagine Africa during this time, a continent rich in resources and strategic waterways, becoming the prime target for colonization. This was the era of the scramble for Africa, a period that reshaped the continent's destiny. North Africa, with its proximity to Europe and a heritage intertwined with the Mediterranean world, drew the eyes of imperial powers. Countries like France, Britain, and Italy were eager for expansion and control. Libya, a land of stark contrasts, where sprawling deserts meet ancient cities and resilient tribal communities. Italy, with dreams of reviving the grandeur of ancient Rome, set its sights on Libya, igniting a brutal campaign of conquest and colonization, a chapter in Libyan history that would change everything. Now let's shift our focus to the heart of this story, to a young boy born in 1862 into the Manifa tribe in the rugged landscape of eastern Barca, today known as Cyrenaica. This boy grew up under the tutelage of this majestic region, where challenging environments taught him resilience and self-reliance. In the tribal society of Barca, with its codes of honor and solidarity, the young boy learned about his ancestors, their battles, and their unwavering spirit of resistance. Fast forward to Italy, tightening its grip over Libya. The once free tribes found themselves under foreign rule. Harsh policies, land seizures, and cultural impositions disrupted their age-old way of life. Markets destabilized, social structures crumbled, and the once thriving tribal communities fragmented under the weight of oppression and exploitation. In this chaos, a teacher and a scholar, the young boy from the Manifa tribe, Umar Mukhtar, stood at a crossroads. Respected for his wisdom and integrity, he witnessed the suffering of his people and the desecration of his homeland. His life of contemplation took a decisive turn, answering the call of duty to defend the weak and uphold justice. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary transformation. Imagine the harsh Libyan desert, now a battlefield where Umar Mukhtar, leading his men, turned the unforgiving landscape into their greatest ally. Using guerrilla warfare tactics, they struck the Italian forces with surprise attacks, swiftly emerging from the landscape and then disappearing back into it. Umar Mukhtar's deep connection with the land and his people made him a formidable leader in this unconventional warfare. But Umar Mukhtar's leadership was more than military strategy. It was rooted in profound spiritual and moral convictions. He reminded his men that their struggle was a testament to their faith and ethical values. His humane treatment of captured enemy soldiers, providing them with food, medical care, and respect, set him apart from the prevailing norms of warfare. His actions were a powerful message about the nature of their struggle and the character of their leadership. As the conflict intensified, the Italian military, frustrated by the effective guerrilla tactics, changed their strategy. They brought in more resources, troops, and advanced technology. The introduction of airplanes, armored vehicles, and sophisticated weaponry began to shift the power balance. Despite these challenges, Umar Mukhtar and his men continued their resistance with unwavering determination. However, in September 1931, a fateful event occurred. Umar Mukhtar was betrayed and captured by the Italian forces. His capture sent shockwaves through the Libyan population and the resistance fighters. It marked a turning point in the Libyan resistance, a moment of deep reflection and reorganization. Umar Mukhtar's trial by the Italian colonial authorities was a mere formality, a ceremonial procedure with a predetermined outcome. The charges against him were framed to ensure a swift and decisive verdict. On September 16, 1931, Umar Mukhtar faced his execution. His death was intended to signify the end of the Libyan resistance, but it had the opposite effect. Far from eradicating his influence, it immortalized him as a martyr and a symbol of the fight for freedom and justice. His legend spread rapidly, transforming him into a figure revered 
not only within Libya, but across the Muslim world and beyond. Don't forget to like this video and share it with friends. Until next time, peace.